Hey guys, this is Hello, and today I've uh, run across another Samsung Galaxy S3 that needs to be flashed to Verizon prepaid. Um, bought it today, brand new, basically condition. Uh, first thing that I did with it was dropped it because that's what I like to do with these three hundred something dollar phones. All right, so um, a couple prerequisites before uh, we get into this video is you're gonna want to be on a stock rooted ROM. The ROM that I chose was the um, 4.1.2 update um, delete because that was the only uh, stock ROM that I could really find. Um, yeah, it's Android version 4.1.2. Build number is BRBMA2. And if you want to get the 16 digit password to work, which you'll understand about that here in a minute. You're going to need to be on baseband 1535BRLF2. Now, if you're not on that and you're not on this stock ROM, you need to unlock your bootloader, flash the baseband, and flash this ROM. I suggest these two things right here. Um, ADB is crucial. Any and all of your apps and anything like that is probably going to be gone. So, when you do this, you're basically starting fresh, and I hope that you do this whenever you start fresh from this phone. Also, if you need to bypass the Verizon activation because you don't need a SIM card to do this, you're going to push, um, just actually just Google uh, how to bypass Verizon activation. There's a YouTube video on it. Short, simple, sweet. Okay. All right. Now, let's get into it. So, First thing is we're going to go ahead and open up the dialer. And we're going to type in this right here. Star pound two two seven four five nine two seven. Okay, now it's not going to do it this low on your device. This is something wrong with this Android S screen. Okay, click on hidden menu disabled. Click enable. Whenever this little menu pops up, and hit OK. Now go back. Hit. Star pound seven two eight four pound. Go to Qualcomm USB settings and change it to DM plus modem plus ADB. Card on. Okay. Now we play the waiting game while this all installs. Hmm. Okay, so now on to the next move. Open up DFS. Now if you look up here on my screen you can see that there is a it's been marked out but there is no signal bars at all right now. It's kind of ridiculous to be honest with you. It's like why is that? How is that happening? Blah blah blah. You know you're just wondering you're asking yourself a bunch of questions. We're gonna fix that. Alright, so
No. Okay, so now we're going to plug in the USB donor phone, which, by the way, is a Samsung Gusto 2, which has already been activated. And I have one thing about the Samsung Gusto 2s is that you have to go to the internet at least one time whenever you do this. So, anyways, so let's go ahead and plug it in. We're going to turn it on. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in right now. It's officially 100% on. Hopefully the person I'm flashing this for isn't using this phone at this time. Okay, so we're going to copy this password right here. Okay, the this right here is the Samsung Gusto. The reason I know that is because it has that WDM thing at the end. And Samsung Mobile USB modem is because whenever the device connected, that's how I knew what it was. But yet, there's still a serial port right here. So, kind of curious. Samsung Mobile USB serial port. We need to look into that real quick. Okay, so we're going to go with the serial port. And now you know how to see what the serial port is. So, COM19 is being activated. Alright, so. I'm going to send the password. And we're going to go to programming. And we're going to hit read. Okay. Copy. We're going to send it. Now we're going to go to mobile IP because we really want to know if it's reading everything correctly. So if you get a bunch of zeros in this area right here, AAA, then something ain't reading right. Okay. Now we're going to go up here to and change it to USB serial port, in which case we're going to go over here and we're going to get the Galaxy S3 16 digit password. Okay. I'm going to turn on the log because I want to make sure that this is working right. So we'll put that right there. Paste that 16 digit password in there. We're going to send it. And you can see down here it says device unlocked. So what I want to do is I want to go to NAM, excuse me, general, and I want to hit read again. Password is all zeros. So I'm going to hit 122456 and I'm going to send the SPC. Even though realistically it doesn't really do anything, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay. So now let's go back up here to the diagnostic portal number COM8. Let's open that up. So we're going to hit read there. 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 And we're going to hit read right there. Okay, now up here at the top, we're going to switch back to the COM19, and we are going to hit right on the ESN, right on the MEID, right on the A key, 
and the RUIM config we're going to put NV only and I'm going to hit right okay now we're going to go over to the NAM tab and we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to switch it over to Samsung COM port 8 and we're going to hit read right here and I'm also going to load a PRL So I'm going to go to my PRLs folder and I'm going to find my 5300 PRL and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit right in here and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit right and down here you can see that everything wrote okay. Oh fuck. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> I wrote that to the wrong phone. That's all right. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna hit. Right here. And then I'm gonna hit. Right over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the data port. And I'm going to switch it over to the WDM. And I'm going to hit read. Okay. Now I'm going to switch it to the COM port 19. And I'm going to hit write. Now I'm going to go to mobile IP. And I'm going to go to the WDM port. And I'm going to click read. And I'm going to switch to COM19 again. And I'm going to hit write. And then I'm going to hit write current profile settings. Okay. And we're going to. Send reset right now. Now while it's resetting, I'm going to pause the video for a moment. Alright guys, so I just want to cover some things that I don't feel that um, that I know I couldn't cover by showing you this because there's no way to possibly show you this thing. So um, the first thing is that if you want to get working MMS and you don't want to go through a bunch of fixes on your Verizon Galaxy S3, just install Verizon Messenger APK. Uh, I'll put a link to that on the XDA developers uh, forum whenever I post this video on there. Um, the second thing is if you're going to port a phone number to for that to fully work it's going to take about three days. So what I would suggest is that you activate your Samsung Gusto to port the phone number, wait three days, then flash your smartphone because you're not going to get the correct AAA keys out of the Samsung Gusto too. That's just what it is. Also another thing is that you need to I, you don't need to do this, but there's a ROM called Clean ROM, and it's a pretty good ROM. And for some reason, it has the ability to stop the no SIM activation crap that goes on at the beginning of the uh, whatever you turn your phone on every single time. If you're on the stock ROM, you'll see what I mean. But the best thing to do is just get Clean ROM, flash that, and you'll be good to go. Um, and I basically that is it. Uh, some people. Are gonna ask me, and they have asked me in the past. Will I flash phones remotely? Uh, will I flash phones uh, in Orlando? If you live in Orlando, I will flash your phone for 20 bucks if you already have the donor phone. 40 bucks if you don't have the donor phone. Everything will work. I can get voicemail notifications, everything like that to work. Okay. If you're, if it's remotely, if it's some other place, that's iffy. Um, I'm gonna say 40 bucks just period for that because. It's just a pain in the butt, man. It really is. Um, so just hit me up on XDF if you have any questions. And that is it right there. Hope you enjoyed the video. And sorry for this low resolution section.